we have a short agenda this evening. Uh, first item will be approval of minutes uh, from the previous meeting. The second item will be the Recycling Center upgrade site plan and one item of other business, which will be a recommendation for uh, a representation on the comprehensive plan committee. And at the end of the meeting, there will be an opportunity for public comment on anything which has not been in the agenda. Thank you, Caroline. <coughs> um, the first item is the uh, approval of the minutes of the October 4th meeting, which have been circulated. Do members have any questions or comments on these minutes? Being done, I'll call for a motion to approve. Joe, motion thank to you. Approve the minutes. Victoria, second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. The next item is the um, Recycling Center Upgrade Site Plan Review. The Town of Cape Elizabeth is requesting site plan review of an upgrade to the recycling center located on Denison Drive. The application will be reviewed for compliance with Section 19-9 site plan regulations. <coughs> Excuse me. The procedure will be as follows. Um, the applicant and the applicant's representatives will summarize the changes to the project since the last meeting. There will then be an opportunity for public comment uh, at the end of the public comment period, the board will then discuss the application. And at the end of the discussion, the board has the option to approve, approve with conditions, table, or deny the application. So without further ado, would the applicants like to uh, tell us what's going on? Thank you. Uh, my name is Robert Malley. I'm the director of Public Works. And uh, we've been working uh, over the last several months with uh, the firm of Woodard and Curran uh, to develop this proposal for your consideration. Megan McDivitt from uh, the firm is here tonight. Uh, she'll provide you a, a brief overview of the project. I uh, would like to thank the board for your consideration during this process and uh, appreciate your input and your feedback to us. So uh, Megan will take it away. Thanks, Bob. Um, thanks, everyone, for having me back. I'm just prepared to real brief uh, presentation. I'm just going to kind of go over, review what we discussed last week, and then talk about some of the changes um, that we've made since our last meeting and our site visit. So here is the uh, existing transfer station, as many of you know, and beloved by many residents. Uh, just as a quick brief overview, we enter the site here. These are the containers kind of called silver bullets for recycling. You come down here and you can park here and walk into the compactor building, which is where you get rid of your solid waste or your trash. And then you can walk around the site. These are the um, current cardboard containers right here. Up here is what we call bulky waste. These are things like furniture, asphalt, uh, shingles, um, metals, things like that that you get rid of uh, beyond this retaining wall. Then you work your way down and you've got some additional site amenities, which is the donation boxes, the swap shop, the bottle shed, and things like that. So just quick overview. And again, we'll recap what the proposed changes are. For the new site, the existing buildings will stay in place. But what we're proposing now is to put stationary compactors out here and make four lanes. It'll be two compactors for recycling and three compactors for MSW or trash. The fifth lane at the bottom will be a bypass lane for anyone who doesn't want to make a stop at one of these locations. You can then work your way around the site. Um, to help the fall hazards at the retaining wall where the bulky waste is, we're proposing to put a handrail on. And then when you go over here, we're proposing some improvements to the parking at the swap shop, bottle shed, and donation boxes. And this will be done also with some small concrete islands um, that will help separate traffic, make dedicated traffic lanes, but they're also going to be favorable to plowing operations up at the site. Finally, our last proposal would be to add a stormwater feature called an underdrained soil filter down here. This will collect this runoff that comes from this section of the site. It will come collect in here and provide some treatment before it discharges under the road and into the big wetlands that are down here, located between the site. And then just a quick overview. This is what these stationary compactors will look like. Um, so on this side, you'll see a big container will be attached to it. That is where all the trash or recycling will get compacted, and those will get rolled away. But this is what will stay on site all the time. And these openings right here is where you'll throw either your trash or your recycling. When it's time to compact it, these doors shut as a safety precaution, 
so that it can only be turned on when these doors are closed. And this opening is gonna be somewhere in the range of four to five feet wide by up to three feet tall, and should be about 42 inches from the ground, which is the same height that the fencing is at the compactor currently. And here, this is just a quick recap of how it'll get around the site. You're gonna go around the site um, counterclockwise, very similar to how you do first. You can come in and come through one of the four lanes or the bypass lane and stop at the recycling container or MSW. Then you can work your way at the site. If you'd like, you can stop at the bulky waste containers or you can just go bypass that and leave the site. This lane right here is for exiting the site. If you don't want to exit the site and you want to stop, then you've got the option of coming over here and parking in one of these 14 parking spots, which is five more than are currently provided at the site, and utilize the swap shop, bottle shed, or donation boxes vacuum. And then you can leave the site. There is also this bypass lane will allow individuals to come to what we're going to call the new universal waste storage building. The office will remain in here, and this is where all transactions will continue. So that is um, also available for everyone's use. So what changed since our last meeting? Not a whole lot, but a few little items we added. First, um, based on our discussion at our site walk, we added a few no parking signs back on this side of this grassed island just so when vehicles are coming around, nobody parks here to walk to any of the amenities, so we'll keep traffic flowing. We also staggered these lanes right here to help traffic from merging. The idea is that the car to the right will have the right of way so that the vehicle in the lane right next to it can see this person ahead of them and let them pull out first before they pull out into the traffic. And finally, we made some modifications to this stormwater management feature down here. Um, this is what it looked like previously when we submitted at the beginning of September. We had utilized the whole area um, and really kind of oversized the feature. But then after having FB Environmental go out and delineate this small existing man-made wetland, we decided to refine the feature um, and push it away so that we wouldn't disturb this at all. So this is gonna remain intact and be protected. We've put the stormwater feature over here, we've sized it ensure that it's still adequately sized for the area that will drain to it. And what this allows is a little overflow or emergency spillway for a storm bigger than what we've designed it for, you know, a 50 or 100 year event. It gives us an overflow and we can utilize the existing culvert in that situation. And those are really the only changes we've made minus a few um, detail and no edits per the town engineer's recommendations. Um, we've gotten the town's re uh, revised comments from our new submission, and there's a couple little edits we need to make, but all things that we can do, no problem. They're detailed and no oriented, and we'll do those moving forward. Any questions? <coughs> Victoria. Um, just for the folks at home, uh, you were showing how you can get through and all the different um, places you can stop. You can still stop uh, to drop off wood and the leaf waste and oil. So. Um, I just wanted to make sure that if anyone's watching at home, they, they realize, even though you didn't say it, you can still stop, that those are still available to residents. Yes, correct. All those functions will remain. Thank you. Uh, Megan, up in your diagram, there's a yellow rectangular thing right where those dumpsters now are that have all the funky paintings on them. What is that for? Uh, right there? Right here? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. This one? Yep. So this is an existing concrete pad that's currently at the site. I think if I go back a few to the existing site photo, you can actually see it right here. Right. It has a, it has a dumpster on it now. It has a dumpster on it. it will, the concrete pad will stay there. There won't be a dumpster on it. What they may use that for is when they're removing full dumpsters, they'll place them then temporarily so they can reload the compactor and then they'll pull them away and take them off site. So it will be used as a temporary location. Great, thank you. Yep. Wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. I guess if you could put uh, the drawing for the parking for the uh, swap shop. Okay, see, the only thing I may find there is you could be driving in with park cars parked left and right, but then they, they have to back out while people are taking something with them to drop into the swap shop. And, you know, I, I just parked cars going backwards, always seem to be quite a dog parked cars and backing out of a parking spot. Always have some sort of line spot, and I wonder if there's 
if you can make it in some way one way, so that you can't, you know, so you drive out of the parking lot, you go into the parking lot park, and then go out through that way to do what that over. And if you could angle them over so it wouldn't be quite such a a right angle in the words they'd be angled past them. But yeah, I just wondered whether kids running in and out might be a little bit more difficult to see them. Seeing as it is a parking area rather than a driveway. I know at the moment if you go there it's a driveway so the people are very cautious when they're moving out into traffic. But in a car park you don't necessarily expect the car to be moving back. That's just a comment. I mean, I don't think really it's practical to get around if you can get around that. So. Yeah, we would have to look at our space limitations. I do have a concern if a vehicle came out this way, um, sight distance, so where this driveway would tie in here. This is around a curb, and there's uh, quite a few trees. I would have concern that vehicle pulling out wouldn't be able to see oncoming traffic. Yeah. So here we at least get to, you know, it is a parking lot. Hopefully vehicles treat it very similar to your parking lot at your standard grocery store or shopping store that you know, you're aware of pedestrians when you're backing in and out. We did provide a sidewalk over here alongside the building to try to encourage people to be out of the parking and not walking down the middle of the parking lot, but utilizing that sidewalk. Yeah, I don't think it's a high probability area for accidents, but you know, wash the planning if you might as well have another look at it. Any other comments or questions by the board before we have the public comment period? Okay, at this point, we will now invite, uh, open the public hearing, invite any members of the public who would like to be heard. If you would come to the podium and uh, give your name and address in three minutes, although there's not too many people here to talk, and we'll let you run over a bit if you want. Any members of the public care to be heard? Yes, sir. Good evening. My name is Pete Fry. I live in uh, Cape Elizabeth, 28 Southwell Road, and I am the current chair of the Recycle Committee. <clears throat> I, just, I just came here to lend my support tonight to the project. I, I think that a lot of, uh, a lot of hard work has gone into... Uh, Sir, could you step sure. a little closer to the microphone? Sure, Thank sorry. You. I think a lot of hard work has gone into, into this proposal. On, uh, on behalf of the committee that, that was responsible for this, um, I think that safety is paramount. I think that uh, you know, the cost is what it is, but... The uh, facility as it is right now is, is aged and it really needs to be revitalized. So on behalf of the committee, I, I support this proposal and I hope that you will too. Thank you. Any other members of the public, you sir? Okay, we'll close the uh, public hearing and the board can now discuss the uh, application. I don't really have any comments, but I do want to thank, we probably should have thanked the Recycling Committee uh, members for all the work that they have been doing. Um, it came to us um, uh, done in many ways. Um, we really looked at it, we did the site walk, we did have some comments, but it was um, very well received. Thank you. Andrew? I don't have any comments. Really? Yeah. I, I, well, I, I was surprised how much work was required to come up with this plan because you know I thought the dump, the dump, the dump, but um, obviously it requires a lot of uh, that. Yeah, I really think you did a good job. Obviously. Thank you, Caroline. I think we started out, as Victoria said, with a very good uh, plan, and I appreciate that they took our our few comments to heart and uh, tweaked the plan a little bit, and I think it's an excellent uh, excellent effort. Yeah, I'll just add to that, I'd like to congratulate Bob Malley and the engineering firm. I think they've done a very professional job. The uh, site walk was very interesting. There was a lot of concern on public safety, um, which I think has been, has been well met. And uh, the, uh, there's uh, some detailed uh, materials in the package we have, which I won't go over in any uh, great detail, but it, it covers the issues that we've considered and all found to be uh, quite well handled. So it's, it's been a, um, 
I, I think it's been a good effort by the town. I think the, uh, the final product will be quite satisfactory. So thank you. Um, if there are no further comments, uh, I would call for a motion. Hey, Henry, you would? does provide for adequate collection and discharge of storm water. The development <clears throat> will not cause soil erosion based on the erosion plan submitted. The development will be provided with adequate quality and quantity of potable water. The development will provide for adequate sewage disposal. The development has access to utilities. The development will locate, store, or discharge materials harmful to surface or ground water. Will not, I'm sorry, Luke. The development will, not prov will provide for adequate disposal of solid wastes. <clears throat> the development will not adversely affect the water quality or shoreline of any adjacent water body. The applicant has demonstrated adequate technical and financial capability to complete the project. The development <clears throat> will provide for adequate exterior lighting without excessive illumination. The development has a vegetation buffer throughout and around the site and screening as needed. The development will <clears throat> not substantially increase noise, level, noise levels and cause human discomfort. Storage of exterior materials on the start site will not be visible beyond the boundary of the property. The application substantively complies with section 19-9 site plan regulations. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of town, the town of Cape Elizabeth for site plan review for an upgrade of the recycling center located on Denison Drive be approved subject to the following conditions. One, that the plan be revised to address the comments of the town engineer's letter dated 10-12-2016. <clears throat> that there be no alteration to the site until required permits from the De Department of Environmental Protection, DEP, be issued and the plan revised to address the above conditions and submitted to the town planner. Yeah, we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Oh, thank you. Is, we have a motion made and seconded. Is there any further discussion on that motion? Call for a vote. All in favor? Opposed? Carries unanimously. Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thank you. The uh, last item on the agenda is public comment on any other matter any members of the public wish to be heard no i am sorry <laughs> victoria what a thank you the third item on the agenda uh, is uh, a uh, recommendation for a planning board representative on the soon to be formed comprehensive plan committee and the planning board has recommended that Victoria Volant be the planning board representative. Um, is there any discussion on that I idea? I wholeheartedly support this nomination. Henry, comment? Um, ditto. <laughs> no? I agree. Yeah. Yeah, and I just, you know, I'd like to say for the viewers at home that Victoria has, has been. Um, one of our leaders in, in handling big, complex topics and mastery of 
facts, which uh, the uh, Comprehensive Plan Review is going to have plenty of, and I think she'll really do a great job on it, and I enthusiastically recommend her. Um, we probably just could have a, a vote. I think, yeah. yeah, I'll call for a motion to appoint Victoria Volant to the uh, Comprehensive Plan Committee. Is there a motion? Motion. Henry? Motion to. No second. Uh, discussion on that second in motion? <laughs> in favor? Opposed? Carries unanimously. Okay. You got it. Yes. Now, we have a chance for public comment. There being none, I'll call for a, a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. In favor? We're adjourned.